Hello, my name is Leilani and welcome to Little Ears. Today we are reading Dozer the Fire Cat, written by Robert Prokop and Jenny Cooper. The sky glowed red and the air smelled thick with smoke. It was time to evacuate. Only take your most precious treasures, warned the police. Dozer! Here, Dozer! called the children. But Dozer was too busy stalking. Mum packed the passports, Katie packed Mr Brown, and Floyd packed his pants, while Dad packed the chickens. And everyone called, Dozer! Dozer! But Dozer was too busy pouncing. Mum grabbed blankets and jackets and pillows, Katie grabbed Mousie, and Floyd grabbed Dad's saxophone while Dad grabbed the sheep, and everyone shouted, Dozer! Dozer! But Dozer was too busy washing. Mum remembered family photos, Katie remembered Rabbity, and Floyd remembered his mouth organ, while Dad remembered to check on old Bob next door. They all yelled, Dozer! Dozer! We have to go! But Dozer was too busy sleeping. Dozer slept, and he slept, and he slept. <gasps> Dozer woke to a sky filled with fire and smoke. The wind howled, fanning the flames. He was frightened and all alone. Helicopters buzzed like angry bees, and water washed down from big buckets. Sirens wailed, and water gushed from the fire truck hoses. Dozer ran away. When the roaring fire was out and the quiet returned, Dozer crept home. He didn't like the silent empty house. He was scared of the black grass and the smoking trees. He didn't like the ash that stuck to his paws. What Dozer really needed was a cuddle. Meow! 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 Dozer yelled. Mum, Dad, Katie and Floyd did not give up searching for Dozer. And the evacuation centre, at the evacuation centre, they found donkeys and ducks and dogs. But no Dozer. They found pigeons and poodles, and even a parrot, but no Dozer. Dozer waited and he waited for three long days. Then one afternoon, he heard the sound of familiar voices. Dozer ran and he ran. The family were overjoyed that their home had stayed safe from the fire. When they saw Dozer, everyone wanted a cuddle. The children squeezed them tight, but Dozer didn't mind. He was too busy purring. The end.